In the early morning mist comes a passenger car, driven by a Mary, but she drives it off a cliff. Why would she do that? Two robbers have just finished robbing a passenger car, but the robbers drag Mary down. She begs but is no use. Mary was dragged into the wilderness. A bus full of people did nothing. The guy can't sit still. Why are they all sitting there? An older man was about to get up, but was held down by his daughter-in-law. The guy looked at the carload of people and saw the indifference of humanity. He rushed out, ran at the robber, was punched to the ground, and desperately held onto the other guy's calf. Instead of helping, the people in the car watched. The guy was slashed hard by the robber and fell to the ground in agony. Blood flowing all over his thigh, a car full of people just Baba watched, perhaps some secretly anxious, but no one has this courage to step forward. Outside the window were Mary's mournful cries and yells. The two robbers ran away. Mary returned to the car, disheveled, and with embarrassment, she brushed the blood from her face. The passengers, however, did not offer a word of comfort and acted as if nothing had happened. Mary's expression changed from surprise to sadness and finally to humiliating anger. The indifference of human nature made her despair and she cried on the steering wheel, lifting her head as if she had made up her mind. At that moment, the young man also came back. He was very sorry, but he didn't realize that Mary was going to kick him out of the car. Get out of the car! The guy didn't understand. Why? I was the only one who got out of the car to save you. Mary didn't listen to the explanation, closed the door, opened the window and threw the bag to him. Mary closed the door, opened the window, threw the bag to him and drove off. The guy was kicked out of the car by Mary, covered his injured eye, and walked for two whole hours before a car would give him a ride. On the way he saw police cars speeding by and guessed that there must be an accident up ahead. And sure enough, he didn't have to drive very far before the police car pulled up on the side of the road. In the distance is a huge accident scene. With gusts of white smoke, the guy heard from the police intercom. A head of the car fell off the cliff. The accident. It is the previous ride on the 44 road car.